Good morning and welcome to The Art of Composition. Thanks for joining me today. Today I thought I would look at another Connor Walton painting. It's called Dying Art. And I'll drop the harmonic armature on this painting and point out a few things that might help those that are interested in learning real design. But before I get into that, I just want to mention a few things. I've been getting a lot of questions from photographers lately about dynamic symmetry. Somebody wrote me last night thanking me for doing that video, how to accurately apply dynamic symmetry in photography. As I mentioned before, even though I don't teach dynamic symmetry much anymore, you can always drop me an email with questions about it. Because as I've said, dynamic symmetry is in this really weird arena. It's, it's, it's a mess. And unfortunately, a lot of the information that's out there right now, it's very confusing. It's overly complex. And it's hard for the artist and photographer to figure out how do I apply this stuff. And after years of teaching this, one thing I will say is that when it comes to photography, the design grids and the application of design grids, it's its not very practical. Now, there are a few ways you can use it. theres When it comes to dynamic symmetry, the only way you can actually apply it in photography is one, if you're willing to crop your photographs, and two, if you're shooting in a square. If you're shooting in a 1.5 format, which many photographers do, it's the dominant format in photography, you can't apply dynamic symmetry. Now, you can use a 1.5 armature, and I do use that in my own work to evaluate my work. I don't use camera grids, but I use the 1.5 armature to evaluate my photographs, some of them anyway. But that's not dynamic symmetry. So if you really want to be clear about this information, when it comes to dynamic symmetry, you have to get good resources. And I'm sorry, but there's just not a good resource out there right now. There are two books that I recommend that are valid. One is Classical Painting Atelier, Chapter 2, and Mikhail Jacob's book, The Art of Composition. Those are the only books that I consider useful and reliable. The dynamic symmetry arena in photography, it's all over the place. You can go to F stoppers, you can go to Petapix, you can find all these articles and videos on YouTube. A lot of that doesn't make any sense because it's talking about photographers using the one five format. And I've yet to see any video that has accurately described how photographers can apply this. So you have to really be careful. But if you have any questions about dynamic symmetry you can always drop me an email all right so let me take a look at this painting this is the same painting with the harmonic armature drawn out as i've talked about before there's several ways the artist can use this armature they can frame in their subject they can place their figures or elements along the diagonal lines or a combination of both and connor's doing a combination of both so let me show you he can fr he's framing in this subject right here. And you can drop a horizontal and vertical line wherever two or more diagonal lines meet, okay? And this is what he's doing. He's framing in his subject here. So by just dropping a few lines where diagonal lines intersect, you can frame in your subject. But he's also using the diagonal lines, and that's very obvious when you're looking at this dominant diagonal line right here. And then you have diagonal lines coming in here and here as well. And what I'll do is I will highlight those in yellow. But you do have a vertical running down here where this series of diagonal lines intersects. It gives me this vertical right here from the kneecap down to the foot. And this is how this works. So let me highlight some of these elements in yellow. All right, so as I said, he's framing in this figure over here. And then you have this diagonal line being played out in this figure here. You have this one, it's running down here. You have that vertical which I had just placed, but you have this dominant diagonal line right here. 
coming from the armature, you have this diagonal line being played out here, this one. You have this diagonal line. So you can see how this is coming together. You also have a division here, horizontal running there. But this gives you a good idea of what the artist is doing, how they're framing in their subject, and using the diagonal lines. Thanks for joining me today. I appreciate it, as always.